Welcome to the Nakala's Workshop. I'm Paul. In today's video I will introduce you to my new IME watchmaker's lathe. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So I've made an unplanned purchase. Those of you who are regular viewers know I purchased a Unimat um, watchmakers or a watchmaker spinder for my Unimat SL lathe um, some time ago. And um, one of the problems was uh, getting hold of the uh, eight millimeter um, WW collets. Um, uh, they're extremely expensive and so um, I, I did mention in the video that I'll be uh, sort of constantly searching to try and find some um, at a reasonable price so about a week or so ago uh, one of my saved searches on eBay popped up with um, this IME watchmaker's lathe and um, with with a good collection of uh, collets uh, which seemed to be in uh, pretty good condition um, although I had no plan to to buy a watchmaker's lathe because I, I felt the the SL will um, do, do everything I need in that sort of smaller scale work um, it really was a case of mathematics that the cost of the the collets in this or, or the cost of the whole lathe was comparable to buying just collets on their own so it it seemed a bit of a no-brainer um, so anyway let's have a look in the uh, have a look in the box so um, so we've got a section of collets and then the lathe um, so um, let me get it out of the box and um, let you uh, have a look, yeah? So, let's, uh, if I put that there, I may have to switch off and reset. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Okay, let's adjust the camera slightly so you get a better view. Okay. There we go. Okay, so um so who so the brand of this is IME. Um they're a British or they were a British company uh, called the Ideal Machine Tool and Engineering Company. So you've got the letters I, M, E, E within, within that name. Um, they're originally based in London and um, they were one of the few British um, uh, watchmaker lathe manufacturers. Apparently, from what I've read, the, the common practice was to uh, rebrand some uh, lathes that came from other countries so this was um, th this IME a uh, uh, slightly unusual um, if you want to sort of know some more information about them um, lathes.co.uk as always there's lots of details on there and quite a lot of um, lots of information um, so, oh, something's gone off so let's have a bit of a a look around um, what we could do uh, let me just move it to the um, the extremes of travel so and we've got uh, tail stock so if I just reach for the can of coke as always give you a good 33 mil can of coke and that that pretty much is the uh, the distance between centres. So 
even smaller than the Unimat and it was definitely not something um, I really was planning on going going for but um, so as normal we've got a uh, headstock towel stock tool rest um, this is with it you would have a manual tool rest um, manual tool cutting tools we've got the uh, collet um, draw bar we take out one of the collets uh, so you have a little a little uh, keyway in there which you need to line up which I haven't done there we go so draw bar in the back and away you go so we have a uh, here you have a, a, a plunger, I suppose you would call it, and on the back of the uh, the main poly wheel, we've got lots of um, holes which you can use for indexing. I'll take a separate photo of that and include that, so you you guys can see it. The um, and the centres, the you've got a dead centre here, um, and this this will pull out. And I think there must be other attachments you can put into the uh, the tower stock, but I'm not aware of what they are. So it's something for me to to research. Um, take out your collet, just push it there, and exactly the same collets for the. Unimat SL watchmaker spindle so pretty lucky that I can use them in both now and um, so uh, let me show you this this is oh, it only arrived so today's um, Thursday it arrived um, Monday so I haven't had it for long so it's just one single um, I suppose you call it a bit away, away. Maybe it's a singular, um, which is just clamped by with a, a simple, simple bolt or, or screw, I suppose. If we take that off, there, we've just got the the we got a, a spring in there, and then this pulls off and all we've got to let's see if I can get in a bit closer it's quite hard with the um, we've just got two uh, locating pins that fit into the back of here that create the pressure and then we've got the dovetail that fits onto the ways it's quite a good um, quite a good lo way of locating um, it would be good if you were making tools to use a similar sort of approach with the, especially the two um, the two pins they're um, they're pretty good so um, with it let's just do that up so I don't lose it so in the box we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten collets, and one, two, three, four, five, six there. Yeah. So we've got sixteen all together, um, and it, and most, not all of them, but the majority of them are IME ones. So they are the original uh, ones that match the um, the make of the lathe. And in this, this was quite uh, interesting. I don't know whether we can see this. No, I don't think it's focusing. It's um, it's a package that was sent to a watchmaker in Torquay in Devon in the UK. Um, I've had a search for the address on here, and it's now a Sainsbury's, a supermarket here in the UK car park. So I, it would be really interesting to know how uh, how long ago this was. Um, was posted. Um, well, actually, it's got a one. 
a one penny stamp on here. Oh, no, it's got three one penny stamps, and they were uh, so it must be before the, the early 70s when we went to de decimalization when we changed the format of our currency here in the UK because it's the old currency. So, very old, but the um, the supplier of um, of whatever was in this box at the time they they seem to be a jewelers that do still seem to be in the existence so that was a I did a bit of interest it was quite interesting so there's there's another two collets here so we've got 12 all together um, 16 18 all together so um, and just some bolts so you can bolt it to the uh, uh, to a workbench or a base so really that's uh, that that's uh, my new my new, new little purchase. What what am I going to do with it? It's a big question. Well, maybe not a lot really. It's sort of quite interesting and nice and shiny. It's I don't think it's the best condition. Probably can clean it up, make it a bit nicer. But it was the collets that were the uh, the big draw to that. So having. 12 uh, proper collets, I've forgotten what these are called, but they're for, um, it made it, well, pretty much a giveaway really, I, I don't know how I've, I've ended up with it, because it does seem remarkably cheap. So, the only thing I don't have is a electric motor to power it, or any uh, uh, hand graving tools, so um, I think in some of the the Myford stuff in the workshop there is a, a, a small hand graver so that may be able to work for that and I've been having a bit of a look uh, for an electric motor and I've seen one that seems a reasonable price so if I can get that then I will have a will flash it up and and have a little go with it be quite interesting but um, I don't I think most of my work, well, will be done on the Myford or the um, or the Unimat SL. Um, but but I think it might, you know, I'm, I'm sure it will make appearances from time to time. So um, that's about it. Until next time. So uh, stay uh, happy, strong, and healthy. Cheerio. Thank you.